Hello, everyone, and welcome to Channel 781 Headlines. Bad news this week for an important local organization, Healthy Waltham, the nonprofit that hosts bi-monthly food pantries that feed about 1,000 families at a time in Waltham, released a public statement saying that the city of Waltham will stop allowing the nonprofit to use municipal space for the pantry by March 31st at which that time the Healthy Waltham said they will plan to shut down unless they're able to find an alternate space. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that story for you. This past weekend, employees at several unionized Starbucks locations around the country went on strike for three days, including the location in the Wabin neighborhood of Newton. The Starbucks in Waltham's Market Basket Plaza may soon join the list of unionized stores. Employees there have a date planned in January for a vote. We interviewed organizers from the Waltham store who include our own Chris Gamble with help from a special guest interviewer, local Carpenters Union leader, Tom Geerty. So be sure to check out that interview on our YouTube if you haven't already. Speaking of the Market Basket Plaza, several signs promoting Patriot Friend have been spotted there recently. Patriot Friend is an explicitly racist and fascist national group that trains for violence and distributes propaganda targeted at white teenage boys. The group is very active in Massachusetts, and they previously posted stickers at train stations in Waltham and hung banners on overpasses on Route 128. The signs near Market Basket have been taken down, but new ones have appeared several times. At this week's school committee meeting, the focus was on the class schedule at Waltham High School. For the past two years, the school has piloted a four-day rotation allowing for longer class periods. At this meeting, the scheduling committee presented proposed changes for next year, which include morning and afternoon rotations to allow classes to meet more frequently and eliminates half blocks. Several parents, students, and teachers also use the public input period to express their concerns about aspects of the schedule. You can find the recording of that meeting on the WCAC website if you'd like to learn more. On Monday morning the 12th, there was a meeting at City Hall related to the city's master plan process. This one was not announced to the public. Instead, certain organizations were invited by email and the master plan committee was not there. Attendees instead gave their input to City Hall department leaders. If you'd like to hear what they had to say, you can find a recording on our YouTube channel. You may recall back in September, the Master Plan Committee announced a series of eight public input sessions. The last one was supposed to be on November 29th, but it was postponed and the new date has not been announced. So it's not clear if the private meeting on the 12th was in place of that or if the public meeting will still be happening at some point. We'll discuss that more on the debrief show. Also on the debrief show, we'll have Christine Mackin on to discuss the MBTA communities law and help us understand how it came about that the Waltham Housing Authority will be losing about $300,000 next year. So stay tuned for that. The City Council will be meeting this coming Monday evening. The License Commission will meet Tuesday evening. And that's all the public meetings we know about for the rest of December. This month's critical mass bike ride will be on the 31st in the Cedarwood area. You can check Waltham Reddit for more info on that or other community events. The next thing we post will be our debrief show, so stay tuned. Thank you.